We opened the season with three home games, lost two of those three in very close games. One of those, again, being on TV, the Canisius game here. Unbelievable student turnout, unbelievable fan support. And we played okay, just didn't do enough in the last four minutes of two of those games. Uh, and and li little bit of a rough start there, one and two in the first three home games. Went on the road, playing in the Chicago Invitational, played very well at BYU, played very well at Nevada, a team who everybody's going to see in the Bracket Busters coming up that's now 18-3, and three, has a chance to get in the NCAA tournament, had a shot to win at the buzzer in that one. Played well in Chicago, got a win on a neutral court, and lost a championship game of our bracket in the Chicago Invitational. Then got a little break, returned home, had a nice win over South Carolina State, who we're playing again coming up here in a, uh, at the end of this week. And then a very difficult stretch with Virginia, Vanderbilt, Seton Hall at home. In that mix, a nice home win against VMI. So the early part of our schedule before Christmas, we experienced some success, we had some close games, we had experiences that I think would help prepare us for what was going to come in the second portion, which is after Christmas. And that stretch has been really tough. We had nine games, eight of those games away from home. The one home game against New Jersey Tech was a win here on January 7th. We did get on the road up in the Northeast and win two out of three at Brown and at Fairleigh Dickinson. So experiencing, experiencing some road success was very important for this group. And now what we have are 10 games remaining, a lot of experience, a lot of positive achievements behind us, and a lot to look forward to in the final 10 games. Five of those at home, five on the road. Two of those road games are teams we've already beaten here at home, South Carolina State and New Jersey Tech. All road games are tough, but we should go into those with a feeling of confidence. And if we can play well and use the experiences that we've gained in the earlier parts of the year, we'll put ourselves in, posi ourselves in position to be successful. And when all is said and done, after 31 games, I think this group is going to be able to look back and say this was a successful season in 2011-2012. This is a fantastic group of seniors that's led the team this year and, and really pretty much for last year and the last three or four seasons. It's a bittersweet time right now for these guys. They, they have so many great experiences to look back on. They have 10 games left in their college career. And also, as, and as we keep referencing, we'll talk about it in a minute, what sits on the horizon now is the Big South playing in the league, the opportunity to play for championships. And these guys have done so much for Longwood basketball, so much for the athletic department and the university, and it means so much to them, although they're never going to have the opportunity, the four of them, Antoine Carter, Martez Washington, Jan Vanderkoy, and Jeremiah Bowman, to actually play in that comp competition or play for that league tournament championship. Just like the guys before them, it, that, that's where it's tough because you want them to be able to have those opportunities as well. But they have done a fantastic job understanding the situation that they're in, continuing to give maximum effort and play well, and put this team in position to be successful. They all are looking at individual accomplishments, which are fantastic. But I think if you ask each one of them if they would sacrifice some of their individual accomplishments for the good of the team, they all would unconditionally say yes to that and are really doing everything that they can to continue on the foundation that's been built, what we've established, and put this program in good condition as we do move forward into the future. We're obviously all very, very excited about the Big South announcement, about what's coming. It's really difficult at times, honestly for me, and I'm sure for everybody else, to concentrate on what they're doing right now, knowing what opportunity lies uh, out in front of you in the future. You have to separate the two. Even in thinking about this year, as we, as we started out with here today, 20 games, 21 games into the season, two thirds of the way through, and you start thinking, well, what we've done, that's never gonna happen again. We're never gonna have these eight out of nine away from home. We're never gonna be traveling all over the place through the month of January. So you have to understand that that's reality in the future, but live in the present and prepare for what you're doing right now. So that's the goal, very excited about the opportunities that lie in front of us. Very excited about what comes next. Big South, here we come.